Hi, I am Santosh Kaidhanpal. I am your CCNA trainer. So in the previous video, we have seen the different classes of IP address who is assigning IP address. So from that, we are going to continue the session. So what is the subnet mask of respective classes we are going to see? So what is CIDR values? So how, how the subnetting is done based on the CIDR values, we are going to check it out. So first, in the previous session, we have seen class ABC. So what is the structure of this class ABC? So basically the IP address have network bits as well as host bits. So according to class A, the IAN, IAN is assigning 8 network bits for class A and remaining for host bits and 16 network bits for class B remaining for host bits, 24 bits for class C and remaining for host bits. So it is denoted as network bits as ones, host bit has zeros. Fine. So here we have totally 8 bits in class A. So you turn on 8 bits. So based on Morris code formula, the value will be 255.0.0.0. So this is the subnet mask for class A. Similarly for class B, the subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. For class C, So it is 255.255.255.0. So you can denote this value as in terms of prefix like slash 8, 16 and 24. These values are called as prefix values as it denotes only the network bits. Okay. So these values are also known as class full mask where you can't subnet it. These three values. These three values are also known as fixed length subnet mask. So you can't subnet it. So then which values we can do subnetting sir? So this is called as CIDR values. Classless interdomain routing values. Classless interdomain routing values. So what is the purpose of going to this subnet mask sir? So basically, suppose for any given IP address along with the subnet mask, we can find it out the network address, broadcast address as well as host address. So what is the purpose of this CIDR value sir, classless interdomain routing values? Based on these values only, we will be doing subnetting. What is subnetting? Suppose I have larger network, I am keep on adding users. Suppose if there is any fault in the network means it will affect the performance of whole network. So if you divide that large network into small small network, the traffic congestion can be avoided and the routing table size, size will be minimum. For larger network, the routing table size will be large. So router will not be having more memory space to store the routing table. It will be having memory for only processing packets. So to overcome those drawbacks, we are going for subnetting. So this CIDR values, how you define it? Suppose for example, if I am saying slash 8, so 8 network bits are on, right? So 255.0.0.0. For example, slash 9 means 8, 8 plus 1, 9. So 9 network bits are on, the value will be 255.128.0.0. Similarly for slash 10, slash 11, like that we can write up to slash 32. So these values are called as CIDR values. So based on this value only we can do what? Subnetting. Suppose I am taking an example of an IP address 192.168.10.100 slash 27. Okay, so in this 20, so this the given IP address is class C IP address. So it is coming under class C range. So what is the default subnet mask of class C? It is 255.255.255.0. Already 24 bit is set. But then the question they have given 27. So you are borrowing 3 bits. 1, 2, 3. Remaining 
5 bits are 0. So the borrowed network bits will let you know about how many number of networks. How many number of networks. So 2 power x is the formula where you can find the number of network as 2 power 3. This 3 is nothing but your borrowed bits. So you can get 8 networks. Whereas this zeros use how many number of user per network. So 2 power y minus 2, 2 power 5 minus 2 is 32 minus 2, 30. So I have 8 networks, each network carries 30 users based on slash 27 values. So you, we got 8 networks sir, how you justify those 8 networks means by means of block size, by means of block size. This is the generalized formula 256. So the maximum value for binary decimal conversion is 255, anything above 255 is considered as infinity. So we are taking 256 as in formula minus 224. So the borrowed bits, octets, if you write in decimal means you will be getting 224. So subtract it, you will be getting 32. So in fourth octet, the value will be keep on changing in terms of 32, 0, 32, 64 such that you will be getting up to 224 totally 8 networks you will be getting. Suppose in the first network you will be having 192.168.1.0. This is called as the first IP is called as network address and the last IP in that network is called as broadcast address that is 31. The after network ID whatever the IP comes it is first valid IP before broadcast address it is called as last valid IP. So similarly we can find for respective networks. So today we have seen the IP addressing part that is the class A, B, C. So in that we have seen how many network bits allocated for respective classes. So 8 bits for class 8, 16 bits for class B, uh, 24 bits for class C. The rest bits are assigned for host address. Similarly we have seen what is the purpose of subnet mask. It is used to find your network address, broadcast address as well as host address. Then we have seen CIDR values to calculate subnetting. So to overcome the routing table size as well as the congestion in the network, we are going for subnetting. Then I have taken the example, this IP address. So we have solved the subnetting parts by means of these formulas. We have found out the number of networks, number of users. Then we got the particular network ID first valid IP, last valid IP, then broadcast address. So in, uh, in our next session, we will be finding it out how to calculate the subnetting for class B as well as class C. Thank you for watching.